If you're a serious gun guy, this is one of the most desirable rifles in the world to shoot or own, the AK-107. This is the gun that a lot of AK guys in the United States have dreamed about. It's a counterbalance gun, and it's the gun that picked up the torch from the AL-7 back from the 70s and is bringing it forward to today. Now this particular one got a rail up top, which is obviously riveted to the top cover. Now also you have a muzzle brake up front. The counterbalance action extends forward here. And what you basically have is, as the bolt carrier comes to the rear, a gas piston with a reciprocating rod goes forward and they're hooked together by two gears or cogs and essentially kills recoil. Now also here, we have a 97 round drum, which is in final development and they're looking to bring it to the market here real soon. 545. About ready to go hot with the moon rock. Here we go. That thing is awesome. I gotta tell you, when it comes to guns, this is about as cool as it gets. Okay, I'm gonna follow Andre's lead here. Not that I'm good at Russian, we happen to have a translator. 762 by 39, regardless of what you do with the gun in a conventional AK format, even with a muzzle brake, you're gonna be dealing with rise. There's no way around it. So on full auto, two or three shot burst down range, you're gonna have a dispersion high right. Even in 5.45, this is an AK-12, and we have a muzzle brake now. It's going to be more controllable, but once again, you're going to be in deal with the same issue. High right muzzle rod. <laughs> Granted, it's dramatically less, and on two or three shot bursts on target, you're going to have a better dispersion, but once again, dealing with the same issue. All right, now we go to the 107, which is the counterbalance action. Recoiling mass coming to the rear. There's an equal and opposite force going to the front, and it counterbalances or cancels out the recoil. All right, just like this. This is the original AK-107 that this is derived from. This is a more modern, updated, refined variant, and this particular one you can do some serious work with. impressive. I've shot some counterbalance guns before a couple of years ago and I kind of got the concept. It makes a big, big difference in controllability on target, semi-auto or full auto. Obviously it brings complexity to the table, but if you simplify it and refine it, it's well worth the price of admission. So my answer, I'm all for it. I can tell you, the AK-107 series is the most sought after new rifle in the United States, hands down. Well worth it in my opinion. Alright, for the first time ever, we're going to do a little simultaneous mag dump here. Watch the controllability. Now, I'll be hard pressed to keep up with this guy because this dude here can hose. Thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.